Oh, oh, yes. I am so fucking happy to be here. Please, 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 ladies, give me a walk. Oh, the one's already flying. Had to look at the other laptop. There it is. There it is. Thank you, everybody. Hey, conservative cutie. Hey, Stacy. No dash. SG is here. Exquisites is here. Who else we got? Poison Ivy, Colette DeJure, Winter's Grace. All the ladies there in the building. Hello. My name is Divested Zealot. And if you haven't known, I don't fuck with niggas. I don't like the black community, nor do I like the people that empathize with the black community. That goes with white for white powder donut dusties. That goes for fence sitters. That goes for SJWs. Every single member of that goddamn community that empathize with bullshit. I don't like you. Ladies, I got to tell you something. Welcome and happy Friday. I think that instead of taking a breath, right? <laughs> Bitches have to learn the hard way. Ladies, it's unfortunate. It's very unfortunate what happens. You know, one thing I know about the black community, because I'm black, you know, at the end of the day, I'm a black woman, right? And it's very difficult for members of Blackistan to say, ooh, <laughs> I fucked up just a tad bit. Ladies, let's just say I came on here, mm, let's say June 1st. And I gave y'all a story. You know how I like to do news stories towards the halfway mark. And I said, you know what? This man right here, let's just t turn him purple. He doesn't have to be black, white, whatever. And I said, you know what? This man is a victim, you know, and everybody fucked around here and they did him wrong. The reasons that he was done wrong because people don't respect him. Everybody wants to do violence against him because he's purple, right? Then two days later, you find out that this purple motherfucker is a monster. This motherfucker is just a total and awesome piece of shit, right? And then the next time you see me, I go, hmm, well, this is the deal. I was literally just trying to take up for someone who I thought was a victim and da -da 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 so on and so forth. You would tell me, well, DZ, you gave all these timestamps. You know, you said the story, you gave the narrative, you said what the police report said, you ran your dick liquor, and you were wrong. The next thing out of my mouth should be, yup, that was my bad, should have did my research. Or I should have took accountability and did a retraction. That's what I should have did and beat y'all to the punch so I wouldn't get like inboxes and shit on this fictitious story or whatever of this purple man saying DZ, you was wrong about that. Well, you're coming from a group of people that can't admit numbers. Seriously, you, you can't, they can't. They can't admit that, you know, 70, close to 80% of these bitches got babies and they're single mothers, the ones that do have children. They can't admit that these niggas don't prefer them. They can't admit that white supremacy is not stopping them from doing any fucking thing. What they'll come and do and they, they'll spin a narrative. I'll give you one more example before I start dragging and the panel starts dragging as well. Ladies, I heard a whole tip dude this week. Okay. It was sent to me. Pull up. He said, the black woman is God. Okay. That's how he started out. This is what your content creators are doing to you. I want you to listen up. He came out and said, the black woman is God. Then he said, because you're God, there's more of you women than it is of us. So therefore, since you're God, black woman, you should be okay with men having multiple ones of you. Because if you don't do that and engage in polyamory, you are selfish. You are a selfish bitch is what he said to be exact. And that you don't believe that the black woman is God. I shit you the fuck not. Do you understand the goddamn gaslighting and head spinning that has to happen to tell a woman such a story? Stop there. Do you understand the dumb, the dumb and the very small amount of brain cells you have to have to go for that shit? Do y'all think women in the chat went for it? I'm just trying to see some. Do you think they went for it? Yeah, they fucking went for it. He said, because you're God and there's so many of you, it's the it's God's like 
purpose or God's will for you to share your man with several of them because you're God. You're the one in charge, really. I know it's multiple you of you and just one of me, but at the end of the day, you're in charge, queen, goddess. Y'all, y'all's content creators are playing with y'all, okay? So, brick lady. <laughs> ah, brick lady, right? So, <laughs> Well, we came out here after everybody ran to their mouth and started giving it to their dick, uh, called a microphone, and uh, gave it fellatio, not knowing what the fuck they were talking about. And we sat back, you know, because we only come on Tuesday and Friday. We don't have our notifications on and say, oh, there it is. Let me run me and the bags up under my eyes, tired as I am, so I can get out here and get in front of this, bu get in front of this bullshit. Mm. You know, instead of telling these women, that you should have dissected dissected the story. You call yourself exposing, whiteboarding, and all this type of shit instead of just simply saying two words. My bad. I had it wrong. Hmm? That's too much for you. Ladies, the brick bitch has been a problem. And we said that. Absolutely. As a matter of fact, when we said she was a problem, we were called victim blamers. We said, they said that we were co-signing her being smacked with a brick. I'm gone for how many days is it? Today's, today's Friday. Two, three, four days, whatever. They done went from all these stages of grief to, oh my God, I can't believe a black woman got hit with a brick. To, mm, something's wrong with the story. To, mm, I'm exposing her. To, mm, let's protect black men. Do you see how they got to that part? Do you see how they got to the part where black men ain't so bad after all? You went from protect black women with the brick. Then you went to let's protect black men at the end of the day. And at the end of the day, ladies, that's what it's all about with these whores. Not all, right? Did you come, did you miss the part where we said nobody, including you funky ass mammies, deserve to get hit with a brick? You missed that part, huh? Y'all, it's been so bad. <laughs> it's been so bad. That you literally got black woman empowerment bitches playing a felon telling you that it's black women's fault that she got hit with that brick. Okay? Cash Apple. Anyway, let me show y'all something real quick. And you're welcome for the uh the under the, the under the table slash behind the wall tea whore. You're very, very welcome. Okay. This bitch with this brick. She's been a problem, huh? And we knew she was a problem because we waited a goddamn minute. And I, it would behoove you to start waiting a minute. I see one bitch, she's actually waiting a minute because she ain't commented on the shit yet. I got another question before I show you this problem. Why y'all taking y'all lives down? Huh? I saw where you was calling us victim blamers because, you know, the girl send me clips and shit, right? But then you said on your community wall that you didn't know what to believe. Well, then don't you owe us an apology? Don't you want to say, hey, hmm, maybe the divestors had it correct. Because you made us look like animals. And then all of a sudden, you unsure about what. Why'd you take the live down? I know why. Because your ass don't know how to do a retraction or you don't know how to say, my bad. Okay? Look, ladies. <laughs> Let's go. So you you don't know what happened. I didn't do anything wrong. Nobody saw me do anything wrong. But you guys, so a random person came up to you guys and told you guys that I was swearing. Nobody saw it. Mm -hmm. Nobody could confirm it. But you're asking me to leave because no. I'm a black person. No. So why are you asking me to leave? What did I do the wrong? The store manager asked me to ask you to black. Okay, so I would like to see the store manager, please. Okay, she's up front. She can come to me. No, well, okay. It's up to her whether she. I want to know back. why you guys are asking me to leave when I'm speaking in my language. Is it anybody here speak Somali? Who's the floor manager? Uh, she was just here a minute ago. This is interesting. I just moved to Texas and look what this racist thing is going on. This is absolutely racist and this is harassment as well. You're blah, 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 blah. What? Y'all are sick. You're fucking sick. Y'all don't accuse this bitch of having a skit. Y'all don't accuse this bitch of being the own, like, writer of her violence. And you're even excusing the fact that she got hit in the head with a brick. 
Hmm? Hey, I told you at the beginning of the live, I don't like the bitch. I don't like funky bitches that deal with niggas. That includes you content creator whores. I can't stand you. But at the same time, we said she shouldn't get hit with the brick. You let a nigga come up there and, 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 and dry like dime. That's what you did. He dry dimed and try to blame black women for her getting hit with that brick. That's very fucking interesting. Anyway, go ahead, Aaliyah. Oh, I have a lot to say tonight, but I'm going <laughs> to try to pace myself because we got quite a few ladies on the panel, and I'm sure they got a lot to get off their chest tonight, too. But I have to say this because a lot of hoes have forgotten how far removed a lot of us are from Blackistan. That includes your antics, your people, your men, your children, your religious dogma. And your belief system. We are divested, so I don't know what's not registering. So the same way DZ had to reintroduce herself, allow me to reintroduce myself. I am Aaliyah, and a shit pro-black about me. My head doesn't need to be surgically removed from my rear end. At this point, I'm not even pro-black woman. Somebody in the chat, the comment section asked the question, and I'm answering it. I do this for our, our divested sisters who have already received the message, and for the young black girl that everybody is gaslighting into thinking she's crazy just because she doesn't go along with the rest of this shit that black folks do the shit that they like their victim mentalities their fucked up doctrine and their fucked up culture that's who needs to know that she is not alone in the world personally i do not give a fuck what the rest of these mammies do i'm not trying to convince anybody to divest but i do remember being a young woman who used to think I was crazy for not buying the shit that black folks was selling. And we've seen, we, you know, we said all of this before, but clearly it needs to be said again for the deaf bitches in the back. I don't know if you're suffering from autosyphilis or if the pathophysiological mechanism that's blocking your hearing pathway is a gigantic dick that needs that you need to pull out of your ears but we are divested black women and this is a divested channel because it seems that a lot of you hoes appear to be getting lost between sectors therefore if you found your panties stuck in your ass after the last video that dz was showing a video of the homegirl slapping white men and you got pressed because of it okay let's just say all of it was a skit do you want to know why pointing that out doesn't help you or your argument? It doesn't help you because clearly she was looking for a viral moment and the white men that were in those skits that you all pointed out, they went along with that. Nobody responded violently to her being loud, belligerent, and showing her ass and twerking. By the way, I'm glad to know that she's Somalian because we need to do some ratchet ass cleanup on aisle four. So I need y'all to come get y'all people but the white men in those skits as you call them they actually let her live on the other hand she tried that shit with a group of niggas and she got the viral moment that she was looking for and a whole lot more and she almost got her damn head knocked off her shoulders so you tell me who you think the bigger threat is and the white men she slapped for clout that y'all are trying to drag into this mess because everything the maker does is automatically a result of white supremacy or the black man that knocked her damn block off when she went out there and tried that bullshit with a group of black men. So you let me know how point out this, that these were supposedly skits actually helps her case. It, the, how does this help the black man and how does it help your argument for that matter? Y'all really need to get some help for these delusions that you have and all that means is that white men can actually take a fucking joke without brutalizing a woman and apparently your men cannot and you only prove our argument for divestment being the way to go more and more every day and this is why a group of basic ass bitches will never be able to sit with us now go sit your dumb asses down because that bitch that woman is a hot ass mess and you better pray that this shit wasn't a cash grab because usually the louder y'all are, the dumber you always end up looking. And that's all I'm going to say on that for now. How about that part? Um, <laughs> Snapple, I know you got something to say. These bitches are crazy. I'm going to tell you something before Snapple goes. A simple retraction would have done. It'll save you some time. 
it'll save you some like you know how you have to twist narratives to make it seem like somebody duped you or no nah, this is what i meant last time all you got to do is just wait a minute that's all you have to do anyway go ahead snap them hello hi <laughs> happy, friday, ma happy friday <laughs> I do need to address one noodle head ass hoe. <laughs> who, and look, I'm not going to look. All I'm going to say is, bitch. Matter of fact, I have a self-love lesson that I want to share with you all. First of all, my self-love lesson is I'm going to stay in my lane and I'm going to have integrity and I'm going to speak what I actually motherfucking believe. That way I don't have to come on live streams manic and erratically beating my chest trying to say I did it first. Meanwhile, um let me let me let me just say this. Y'all BWE hoes need to stay in your fucking lane. Leave it to us to hold the community. That means mammies and their counterparts accountable. Y'all don't have the motherfucking range cuz every time y'all try to do it, you don't do it right. And then you come backpedaling and pussy popping. I didn't mean that. I wasn't victim. Let's bitch, say it with your chest and stand in that shit, huh? Okay. Back to noodle head, bitch. You around here beating your chest like you did something, like you knew it all along, bitch. If I recall correctly, you came live initially crying and screaming that all men were bad because this woman wasn't protected. Because she got hit in the face with a motherfucking brick, bitch. We didn't forget. You might have forgot, bitch, because do, do you sleep? Like, who the fuck goes live this much at all these erratic times? You might need to take a nap, but we remember, bitch, you didn't know the whole time. You drank the fucking Kool-Aid. You took the opportunity to be pro black and protect your kings, and you blamed it on white men. So... You could do all the sniffing and stealing and stealing tea, bitch. You didn't find that motherfucking hotel video, bitch. You know where the fuck you got that shit from. You know who found that shit first, but you want to be, I did it first. I did it first. Okay, bitch, do you want a motherfucking cookie? Because you a manic ass hoe. So yeah, as soon as you found something, you wanted to run to YouTube. But that's okay because you can't even deliver it properly. You don't even, it don't even hit the same, bitch. If you gonna find some tea or steal some tea that somebody else worked to get, bitch, come live with some actual motherfucking points and, and bring it home, ho. But you couldn't, cause you a whack ass bitch. You and the other hoes and a bitch that's married to a motherfucking homeless, toothless motherfucker that sit on YouTube screaming for 24 hours without showering, can't say shit to me. I am so <laughs> glad you said that. I'm beautiful so fucking glad. I I heard that. <laughs> I, I heard that snap apple. I can't, oh, y'all. It's like, would you just say, my bad, my bad. Y'all got my word. I don't give a fuck how wrong I am. If I was wrong, bitch, I'm wrong. Point it out, and I'm going to swallow that shit. You bitches stay trying to pretend like, let, let me reinterpret my last lie for you. That's not what I said. Don't you make me block you. That's not what I said, Cash Apple. Bitch, you, th that's what you said, okay? You came out caping, right? And, 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 and you was kind of caping for a dumbass. It gives Carly. It gives all these little vibes of all these little scammers online. I don't trust any, I don't, I don't trust none of y'all. I don't. Mistress Rogue, what's going on, boo? Good evening, beautiful ladies, special agents, may I say, uh, since we all in the CIA <laughs> and shit and our operatives, our ops in the chat. Good evening to y'all, too. You know, every once in a while, I am reminded as to why bitches will constantly ride our coattails but never give us credit. Because the truth of the matter is you bitches are completely and utterly unoriginal. You have nothing that makes you stand out among the crowd unless you ride in our coattails, regurgitating our talking points. Because I know the bitch we're talking about in question. And as I told you ladies before, I went back and watched the live just for shits and giggles. And everything that somebody up on this panel has said, the ladies in the chat have said, she repeated verbatim. And wasn't even clever enough to hide the shit. Listen, bitch, if you're going to hijack the message, at least have a proper delivery. At least stand on what the fuck it is. And if you get it wrong, say, oops, my bad. I've gotten things wrong up here in the past and said, you know what, y'all? Let me retract that. That is all alleged until proven otherwise. How fucking hard is it to, for you to sit down and eat crow? Cause, and I know that might be hard for you, but I would think it'd be easy for a bitch that's homeless and been living in the same trailer and wearing the same dress. <laughs> 
scared. Just before I got out of diapers. So as Snapple said, bitch, you need to stay in your lane. I don't know why y'all be running all over the track trying to get on the train with us knowing goddamn well you have no destination in mind. We are not the same. You bitches cannot sit with us because unlike y'all, nobody over here is pro-black. Nobody is pro-community because them motherfuckers ain't never been pro us. They pro our destruction, pro our suffering, pro our death. I don't give a fuck about any of that. So if you're going to ride on the coattails, make sure you know what the fuck you're saying and stand on the shit when you get it wrong. Ladies, any of you got anything else? Because I just, I love these type of days and I love grabbing popcorn and getting in my inbox and downloading all of the goddamn clips that are sent to me. Just wait a minute. I'm going to give y'all a, a, a little, you know, spoiler or a little hint or a little, you know, little know-how. If you already know that the black community is trash, you better wait a second. That's what you better do because it's going to save you approximately four more live streams if you just simply wait to see who you're defending. You can wear these rose colored glasses all you want to, but there's a lot of jackasses in the black community, in the diaspora as well, clearly. Just sit back and wait a goddamn second. You hear what I'm saying? And then you won't have to come out with your whiteboards and all this shit and try to redraw up some plays like you a football coach to say, nope, I was right the whole time. And but this is what actually is happening when you was lying about it. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Um, Kyra, you got anything before I move right along to this dumpster? Well, good evening, DZ. Good evening, ladies. Good evening. I, do, I do have a question for you, though. So you've already received two cash apples now isn't it time for you to turn on the camera and start twerking so more ladies will give you some cash apples <laughs> i'm good on the cash apples i'm very good on the cash apples uh, Later, okay. go right I ahead wanted to say, okay go ahead go ahead ebony you were Hello. questioning as to whether these women you know you know why didn't you just say you were wrong why didn't you just retract? Why didn't you, you know, <clears throat> the problem is, remember, we've established that the black community is relatively immature. OK, yeah. you have to have a certain amount of maturity as a woman and a certain amount of self-knowledge to turn around and say, oh, I was wrong. Oh, you know, oh, I was wrong. Um, and they just don't have it. Yeah. They, they, they can't get to that level. And it doesn't just, sound like they'll ever get there. You're right about that. My problem is stop gaslighting divesters. Uh, it's not called victim blaming. Why is it victim blaming when we point out facts? But when you point out the same facts that you got from over here, by the way, it's something different. What is it called? It's yeah. not a retraction because you're not, you know, saying you said anything wrong and correcting it. What you're doing is pretending to be a know-it-all hard nipple bitch. That's what you're doing. It, it, if, if we put on red shoes, right, they're, they're tacky. You put on red shoes this Halloween and you're just trying to be trendy. You're weird. You motherfuckers are weirdos. But think about it, DZ. Where does that go? Think about it. The last time you've seen people do that in high school. Yeah, In middle absolutely. school. Absolutely. They, they can't do it. They're not at your level. Most of them are not even at the level of most of the women on this panel. Um, in, in terms of self-knowledge, uh, uh, you know, uh, self-care, um, in, in terms of just being a real woman. I'm trying to figure out it. how somebody can be a right. hypnotherapist I mean, and always wrong. I, 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 how does a hypnotherapist <laughs> get it wrong so much? Because <laughs> here's I'll, the thing. Okay. You're, DZ, so what you're doing, the issue is. She's using the dick to hypnotize people. So, you know, if you <laughs> suck it, you know, like if you do a countdown of how many dick sucks you, you do, then maybe take a breath and stuff. That's how she hypnotizes, you know, those foolish enough to seek out her help. Oh, where are you coming from? <laughs> but, you know, we got a, we, oh. we, we're talking about a lady that turns around and starts jumping up and down, twerking, dancing for one ninety nine cash apples, a dollar ninety nine, but then want to turn around and think she could preach self love. Bitch, you you need self love. Ho, you ain't got no motherfucking self respect or pride or dignity, bitch. You on here dancing and twerking and patting your coochie on camera 
for pennies, but then think that you have the room to talk about somebody else. Girl, bye. And you cannot teach no self love. How are you going to be a life coach and your own life is in shambles? As a matter of fact, <laughs> getting, as a matter of fact, it's getting worse every week. Boom! That's a snapple snap. <laughs> that, oh, that's a Melly Mel. Yes, it is. Listen, I can't take a bitch to Melly Mel her ass to the motherland and still didn't find a pet. She had to get cash apples to come home, y'all. I, we still people still taking this bitch seriously. Mm. Yeah, it is. Y'all, we it is. She ain't the only one. She ain't the only one. Because a bitch that's sitting up there somewhere with a gold mouth failing and a woman beater can't sit with us either. Y'all better start paying you. attention to who you take advice about self worth from. Y'all need to pay attention to that shit. Because a bitch that has fucked up her own life with poor choice after poor choice after poor choice should probably be the fuck quiet when it comes to matters of the heart. Because if y'all actually knew how to pick the good black man as y'all call it you would actually have one by your side but we've all seen what you picked honey so go sit your dumb ass down too how can these people even have a nerve to pick up a microphone and preach to other black women about muling and being a mammy while making excuses for why her nigga got a whole goddamn rap sheet with multiple assaults against women and this is somebody who actually has the nerve to be speaking on someone else's shit constantly girl if you not only went cruising the penitentiaries looking for love but you went cruising the YouTube streets looking for a husband and y'all are both on here all damn day like this is your full time job you are not even in the same stratosphere as me and my comrades I actually feel sorry for you cause that shit is not only a hot ass mess but it's also catastrophic a cataclysmic disaster and I am outdone and here's the thing y'all like talk talking so much shit about us but if you would quit speaking on us and throwing pebbles, hiding your hands and just stick to your own commentary, then you would be all right. But a lot of y'all seem to like to throw rocks. But when we start back throwing grenades, somehow it's a problem. And then we become the bullies. But what y'all hoes better do is learn to watch your mouths and your Twitter fingers. And if you don't want people speaking on your situation, the best thing for you to do is mind the business that's paying you and pennies, I'm sure. Mm. I have a legit yeah, question. Much. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I have a legit question. No, seriously. I want to say real quick how. Okay, sorry, Mel. Go ahead, Snapple. I was just going to say, Aaliyah, with what Aaliyah just brought up. Isn't it interesting how it came full circle? So we had Noodle Head who was screaming, all men are bad, not too long ago, right? That was her initial reaction. But then she's playing this this uh, alleged woman. I don't know. I don't be over there. I don't know what the fuck that motherfucker did. But she played this toothless motherfucker talking about if a black She played on her platform. If a black woman did get hit with a brick, it's because she was on her private chat calling them nakers. So black women deserve it. You know what? You motherfucking animals. Let me tell y'all motherfucking something. Y'all need to get some fucking impulse control. And just because you don't like what somebody said or you was infiltrating a space that you ain't belong in and you got your little bitch ass feelings hurt, that don't ever give you the right to pick up nothing and hit nobody upside the head. And you noodle head ass, but you motherfucking dead wrong for that. And all you mammy assholes that was in her chat when that shit got played and didn't say nothing that's some whole ass shit and that's what the fuck i'm talking about there ain't no motherfucking integrity in these motherfucking bwe screens so shut the fuck up let the divestors be the truth tellers because y'all motherfuckers don't even know how to articulate it and bring a point home y'all are fucking y'all some male identified whack ass bitches you did all that noodle head you did all that whining and crying when that story first broke and then you sat your black ass up there and let that motherfucker say that a black woman deserved to be hit in the head with a brick because she said naker in a private chat. Bitch, you got me fucked up. You need to, girl, you can't teach no motherfucking self-love lessons, bitch. You don't fucking love yourself with your cock-eyed ass. Get a new dress, bitch. Burn that shit. <laughs> I can see why she hates. DZ, I mm. got y'all. I got y'all now, okay? So we got an Aaliyah Arrow, a DZ Diss, a Kyra kick, a rogue punch, a Melly mallet, and a snapple snap. I got y'all. 
No, okay. I, need, okay, I need to ask a question. How you get stuck in Africa not once but twice? <laughs> the no, the, 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 the cicadas did not help you at all. The ones that you vouched for, the a the women that's ADOS had to help you financially. Get back to the states. Damn. Damn. No, Melanie, well, I got another. For? Melanie, Go I got another question for you though. So, how is someone's cicada husband a supposed millionaire but they're all looking like a snaggle tooth motherfucker like i thought that if you have all this money you would at least get some dentures or whatnot so like the math isn't mathing for me do you know the answer to that melanie that's because he ain't got no fucking millions if quiet as it's kept they better be worried about them ppp though oops it on on that note i'm going to i don't know what the fuck's wrong with stream yards but stream yards you're not stopping us tonight fuck all of that Ladies, it's some bullshit going on out here. Just be very careful of the black community, please, because you see what's going on. If somebody can't stay, stand 10 toes down on what they said, right, or admit that they were wrong, listen, had I come up here and took taken up for her without giving y'all all the fucking tea and told you to take a breath, I literally would tell y'all, my bad, y'all, nobody needs to be taken up for this bitch, right? But instead of seeing it for what the fuck it is, you want to sit up here and use this opportunity, right, to say that, oh my gosh, all men are bad. Once a black woman who's clearly a troublemaker, and I told y'all that the first time I spoke about the bitch, that she was a troublemaker, then you want to use that as an opportunity to go ahead and spin some narrative. Shame on you. Shame on you. Do you actually give a fuck about what happens to black women? No. Because you keep sending them down that rabbit hole and you exposing them to people with, you, you know, backgrounds. That's a damn shame. And that needs to be taken into account. Shame on you. Go, go right ahead. I could understand why words like that would trigger somebody like the individual that we're talking about in question. Because he got hands for bitches too. So he'll chin check. He, he's been known to chin check uh, several bitches in his day. Ain't that shit right? So that's why I say a motherfucker that's laid up somewhere with an ex motherfucking con convict, that fuck nigga convict, sitting up here all goddamn day, bitch. You can't sit with us. You can't. You don't even know how to pick them. Where your quality black man at, bro? Bitches, mm -hmm. we seen all your mug shots, ho. You a goddamn prostitute. You can't say a motherfucking <laughs> thing to me. So, oh, my bad. It's solicitation. You were selling that old ass pussy, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what, Malik? Oh, damn. With that, oh. with that being said, ladies, yeah, keep black folk from around your kids, your churn, your loved ones, especially ones that, you know, have this knack for speaking like brother polite let me ask y'all something because y'all saw what happened he's sentenced to seven years whatever this woman right that was his girlfriend okay she literally said in her statement at this at the courthouse when he was being sentenced y'all he made me trust him therefore my daughter trusted him we thought you cared. Now, I don't want to be insensitive. Brother Polite is a black man. That's number one. Red flag number one. Number two, what inside of you says, I'm going to trust a man real quick? Ah, a nigga named Brother Polite is the one to trust. Where do you get that shit from? Huh? I'm glad that you admitted because you trusted him. Your daughter ended up trusting him. But what was what was in your Captain Crunch that day when you saw somebody named Brother Polite and you sent your daughter with him? You sent yourself with him. Ladies, the fact that they are black males, that's a red flag, especially ones that want to be around children, that are good orators, that express the want to be coaches, that express the want to be teachers. And oh, my Lord. The ones that want to be in pulpits. Y'all, first black, look, that's a red flag. Then the red flag gets fiery Cheeto hot when you hear them say, I want to work with children. Peace, is to, peace to the goddess or amen, praise the Lord. I want to work at the school. I'm going to coach Little League. That type of shit, that's two blaring red flags right there. First of all, he a black man. Second of all, he might be ready to touch on somebody's niggering, period. 
Okay. And the fact that y'all keep having these moments where y'all rubbing these women's shoulders after getting into these relationships with these raggedy ass niggas, that's not going to help. I'm going to tell you compassion is nice. Empathy is nice. All that shit is nice, but the line got to be drawn somewhere. You're not going to tell me this man on your screen looks trustworthy. What? You're not going to tell me that this motherfucker looks trustworthy. Let's let me let me tell you this as well. He already had four wives before you came along. Ma'am, where is your self-esteem and discernment? Y'all be on these crystals and on this, you know, y'all be on some spirituality shit. I wonder why the spirit didn't tell you that this motherfucker in front of you was an animal, bitch, and a P3P out. Hmm? It is. Yes, ma'am. You asked what was in the Captain Crunch? Desperation mm -hmm. and drugs. That's the only thing I can think of. Listen, I don't know what's going on with these people, but the fact that that's a black male, that says a lot, y'all. Listen, I might end up having to go out and come back in, so just, just, just work with me here. Okay? I've taken it upon myself to go ahead and grab y'all some examples, okay? I shouldn't have to do that, but I'm going to tell you why I shouldn't have to do that real quick. Because the fact that you can see, now, if it was a blind woman, maybe I, I can say, well, let me excuse her. She didn't know he was black. But even after about three days, she's going to figure out that that's a nagger because naggers do what naggers do. But I, I can't keep excusing this nonsense. I can't keep you know, patching up wounds and all that shit there because you have documented history of the abuse that's suffered by black women at the hands of black men. Hundreds of years, actually. So what are we doing here? Okay, Th this is that's not black women's empowerment, uh, BWE people. That's not going to empower anybody. Being that black people are attention whores, what it's going to do is send her ass right back into the fire because that shoulder rub that you gave her when she came back felt pretty damn good. So she's going to try the shit again, right? Let's take a look at some of these motherfuckers. Y'all know who Brother Polite is and that he has a face only a mother could love. And I doubt if that bitch like it either. Huh? So yeah, he been on that shit for a very long time. This right here. This is the type of people y'all letting around children. Hmm. Every one of these professions, every one of them, this is a city council member. His name is Earl. <laughs> I told y'all niggas was named Earl. <laughs> Next, Right. This is Earl, a city councilman from, from South Carolina. Why, why y'all, if you just start with the fact that he's a black man, and unlike the rest, what the rest of these bitches are telling you, don't just judge somebody off the color of their skin. Listen, they say don't judge a book by its cover, right? I beg to differ. That's what the cover is for. Pull up. You see the book and you like, eh. you look at the title, eh. you look at the, you know, the preface or whatever. And decide whether you want to go. That man's preface and his goddamn cover sitting right there. You do judge the book by his cover, or there would be no need for a fucking cover. Huh? Have you ever thought about that? Let's keep going for a second. All right? <laughs> yeah. South Carolina. This bastard here is from Detroit. Hmm? He's a pastor. Right? He's supposed to be close to the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay, this his name's James. Of course, he was convicted of assaulting a minor. They're everywhere. And whenever y'all get around these men that want to do things and their interests will give them access to people that are, you know, they're kind of vulnerable, you ought to side eye it. Because in your community, they don't like taking care of their children. They don't like taking care of their wives. If they have a wife, their baby mama, or people, nothing. What? You should already be looking at his ass sideways if you're around him with your mammy ass when he says he want to be around children. Anybody got anything so far? Because it's they're all over the place. There was so many to pick from. At this point, if I see any black man in any position, I just assume and I know within myself that he ain't going to be shit. He is using that position, his bully pulpit to exploit typically the younger 
girls in the community like we don't already know that. How many times have we gotten up here and talked about the centuries long record of treason and bullshit that they put you through from selling you into actual slavery, from dealing with you and leaving you single baby mothers. They had to include you in the new deal to, so you didn't starve because he walked out on you and your children, had to ma make laws for him to marry you post emancipation. And then all the way back in the 1500s, shout out to the person who mentions this, the um, photo, the, uh, gar gar the garden of earthly delights. There was a, in that photo y'all, in that painting, there's a black woman drowning and a black man standing there looking at a white woman when, in love. How many times do they need to show y'all? I'm, I'm just confused. They've been hating y'all asses since before photography was a thing. Yes, I know exactly what that comment was talking about. It's literal. Go look it up. It's a black man trying to get towards this white woman in her boat while this black woman is behind her begging for her life. Okay? And y'all having to do some real crusty, dusty shit to keep these niggas around. That man on your screen, his name is Cedric. That's a teacher. OK, there's a middle school student somewhere in the state of Georgia that is no longer innocent. That's going to have to deal with that for the rest of their lives. Brother Polite ain't the only goddamn problem. It's Brother Polites with an S. These brothers, whatever their last name is, is a problem. They are a problem. Go ahead. These are the same type of motherfuckers that this community will turn around and talk shit about us. You want to call us coons. You want to call us bed winches. You want to call us every name under the sun for not buying into this bullshit that these motherfuckers are the most oppressed men in the world. They victims of every goddamn thing. What about the people that they have turned around and victimized? What about their victims? See, this is the type of bullshit that y'all don't want to talk about. This is the type of shit y'all don't want to discuss. That's why we're here to expose this shit. We're here to hold up the mirror and show you just how fucked up you, your community, your thought process, your culture, and every goddamn thing is. And if you don't like that, we don't give a fuck because that's what divestment is all about. We weren't put here to kiss black folks' ass. And if you don't like that, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about a, a black nigga or a bitch. Are we clear <laughs> on that? Aaliyah. Aaliyah, the thing though is you know good and well that their victims were fast girls. So, you know, that's how it is. You know, she's seven years old, she's fast. Or, you know, the dogs, those bitches were in heat. So, you know, whether dogs, little girls, <laughs> Not the dogs. So I the thing know. is, um, small and ridiculous and pathetic men, they always prey on the vulnerable. It doesn't matter what level of society they're in. There you go. They they find somebody weaker than them to get their, you know, to, to, to the basically exploit. Mm -hmm. Weak men always do this. And most black men are pretty weak. They have Let no me... structure. They have that, no money. Well, have... That plant had all that neck sticky nectar on it. What a man's going to do with a man's going to do, right? <laughs> And you see how old this motherfucker is. See, this is what I'm talking about. There is no telling how many victims he had prior to his ass being caught. They have sit up and let these motherfuckers victimize and brutalize girls for years and decades and generations and shit like that. And they sat back and they made us think that we were the crazy ones. And, and they sat up and gaslighted the little girls under their roof and said, well, what happens in this house stays in this house. You don't air out all our dirt dirty laundry. We gonna deal with that in-house and ain't deal with a motherfucking thing and they'll let these types of motherfuckers just like this. You'll notice the creepy ass uncle or the creepy ass granddaddy and not only did he mess with you and you not say nothing, but y'all will let him do it to the next generation and the next generation and everybody pretend like they don't know that this motherfucker got a serious fucking problem with kids and you bring them in there and every time you see this son of a bitch, he got a little girl sitting on his lap y'all some sick bitches mm -hmm. let me can we talk about something real quick and it's, it's on topic but off do y'all see why y'all having to eat ass and all that shit they're not turned on by you these motherfuckers per my title are deviants point blank period they either fucking with somebody's you know children or they sucking it to the base, point blank, period. You and your one little coochie ain't gonna cut it. Uh, let me see if this gonna play real quick because StreamYard's acting a damn fool. Let's go. Status, man. These are my queens. These are my beautiful girls right here, man. These are the girls that hold me down. They take care of me. They do everything for me, man. They eat my butt. All of them. They eat my butt. They eat my butt. Gotta eat the booty like All 
all of them. They eat my butt. Back to the back. Sometimes together, sometimes they take turns. They the ones who make me feel like the king that I am. You understand what I'm saying? Gotta eat the booty like groceries. Why? Damn, the bar, the bar is that low, huh? There is no bar. That motherfucker's in the west side and the bottom basement of Tartarus underneath hell by 465 it's, miles. There's no bar. It's, it's ground zero. It, it's ground zero. Yeah, that part. Ladies, you can't do nothing. Um, Part of it also, it's, the, it's a lot of things, okay? Y'all doing too much. Y'all, when people are addicted to like P-O-R-N, right? And I've told the ladies in Discord this a couple of times. When they see in too much thing, too many things that are like, you know, sexually charged, like twerking on the highway, twerking on top of Pizza Hut. Yeah, saw that. Twerking on moving cars. Yeah, saw that. Twerking when you're nervous. Yeah, saw that. It gets to be, eh, it's, it's like seeing somebody with a shirt on. It's, it's nothing. It's nothing. These men are gone. They're not going to be able to get off on you. And even with the ones that are trying, like I said, to coochie minimum, point blank, period. I don't know what y'all got going on, but that shit needs to come to a goddamn end. Effective immediately, to be honest. Oh, but let me guess. Let me guess. I forgot to add. Why men do it too? <laughs> Why y'all not talking about what the white men do? Y'all act like white men so perfect. White men don't do white men, white men, white men. Don't leave them out. Yeah, I beat y'all dumb bitches too. Because you can't talk about what a nigga do without discussing what the white man do also. As if he got anything to do with your yam back. Yeah, you know what else white men do? White men liberate peoples like they did black folks, like Lewis Tappan did, like Garrett Smith did when they were buying black women and girls out of sla slavery because, you know, black men put them there and then he gave them their, they gave them their freedom. What else? Let's see what else. They have checks and balances and laws. White men of ancient Rome, what did they call a man graping in a minor or a little girl? They would crush his testicles between two stones, cover him in honey and bury his ass alive with fire ants. But you know, white men do it too. Somebody tell them what black men have done. Mr. 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 Let's just start. Let's just start with the basics. They fill out job applications, but black dudes won't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you, <laughs> you can't even get a fucking cicada to fill out a goddamn job application. <laughs> Melanie, you can't get a cicada to wipe his own ass. And these white men wipe their ass. Wow. <laughs> Well, I would like to say that white men do like septic systems and, you know, clean water and hospitals and shit, antibiotics, vaccines, you know, that kind of stuff. AI, all of it. You see, they don't understand checks and balances, though. They don't understand because we've already told them. See, the thing is, for every buffoon in your, see, every buffoon in their community is is about is somebody else to counteract that. Your community has clown after clown, buffoon after buffoon. I'm still waiting on the normal people to come out because all you motherfuckers, we've seen exactly what this community gives. So why they always trying to throw somebody else's community in the midst? I'm not understanding that because it does. Does not help your case at all. Mm. Because you want to know why they are still the minority. You are comparing yourself to a majority group. It makes no sense when you make up the majority of the violent crimes and every goddamn thing else in the country, but you are still a minority group. Like, what the fuck? You cannot compare that. Do y'all remember this nigga on the screen? Uh, I hope y'all do. Okay, because this I have no idea who this is. Okay, well, his name is James. He's a retired cop from, from Baltimore. Yeah, a police officer, one sworn to uphold the law. Well, he was married to a black woman. She owned a daycare, and she found out that he was touching them babies, right? So she pew-pewed his ass. She went on, he didn't die. He did not die, but she damn sure made an attempt. So she ended up going to jail, you know, shout out to her, you know, that Mammy and didn't pay off. She thought not all because he's a police officer and all <laughs> we're outnumbered clearly as divestors. You're going to have a chance more to go ahead and see one of these goofy bitches out here talking about not all. Well, you know, not all. And she said not all. So she got with a cop 
because he's supposed to be someone that upholds the law. But she fucked around and found out that that's not the case. So he put her entire livelihood on the line. Ladies, he's he was retired at the time. OK, she was the breadwinner with her daycare. It was called Kitty Castle. It does not exist anymore from my understanding. OK, some of those kids that were there were her her friend's children. OK, so he broke up her career, her business, her friendships. How can you be friends with a woman whose husband touched your child? Hmm. That, like I said, Brother Polite ain't fucking unique. He's not an offshoot. This is regular in all walks of life when it comes to the Kangs, whether they homeless or whether they Barack Obama. And shout out to <laughs> Lord have mercy. Shout out to Tucker Carl Carlson for finally putting what the fuck needed to be out. Out. I saw that Larry Sinclair interview a long time ago before it came out on X this week. Yeah. From the homeless all the way up to Barack. Uh, you got yourself a dusty pull up. Okay. Who DC. else? Yes, ma'am. I'm not very familiar with the polite situation, but I wanted to uh, comment on what you said earlier about what the mother of the young girl said about how she, uh, what she said, she trusted him. So the daughter had to trust him or something like that. Mm -hmm. And once again, here we are, we're going to hold, all these ashy motherfuckers accountable. We have established very clearly that these Taekwondarius's, Tyrones, and Earls in them, they are some degenerate ass sickos, right? But we also gonna hold these mammy ass mothers accountable. These bitches handing their daughters off to these men, you mammy ass hoes. Y'all will do, y'all will sacrifice your own fucking daughters just to say you have a piece of a motherfucking dusty degenerate fucking, oh, I can't even, I don't even know what the fuck is allowed to be said up here no more. Y'all will literally allow this, this, this being into your motherfucking house and put your vulnerable baby girl, that is your fucking daughter. She looks up to you, bitch. You're supposed to be the motherfucking example. And that is some despicable ass shit. That motherfucking mother should be charged as well especially with a motherfucker like him from what i hear he he's well known to have you know to be into some shit so it's like girl fuck you you are not a motherfucking victim ho her daughter is the victim that bitch is complicit and all you other mammy assholes that's bringing these things into your house putting your daughters at risk you are complicit. You need jail time too. And for you BWE mammy ass hoes, yes, this is how you hold everybody accountable, bitch. You can hold the mammies accountable and you don't have to turn it into save all black men, protect the black men. Oh my God, she lying on the black men. No, throw that motherfucker under the jail and throw her ass under it too. And I'm gonna say it with my chest and I'm gonna stand on it, bitch. I'm not gonna come live and 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 remix it and backpedal and pussy pop ho. But anyway, y'all mammy ass hoes, y'all mothers, y'all don't deserve daughters. Y'all deserve sons. I wish y'all couldn't make daughters. Look, y'all. She said a mouthful. Here's the deal. Yes, yeah, she did hand her daughter over. She literally said in her victim impact sta statement that brother Polite uh, asked, can he take her daughter to go take vacation photos? Excuse me. Number one, if y'all on vacation, shouldn't everybody be going? Right. But they literally hand their daughters over to these niggas. And when you said piece of a man, that's exactly what she got, because he is notoriously polygamous, period. He does not believe in monogamy whatsoever. He thinks that goes against the black man's nature. So, you know, he you said a mouthful right there. And why would she be letting him escort her daughter in? Well, that ain't her goddamn daddy. Like, do they just do you just make it a habit of just letting your children go off with any man you're dating at the time? Like, do you really think that's a good idea? That's why I say I think a lot of them got sh the dick. They got auto syphilis and and dick on the brain. Dick, 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 <laughs> dick is that tumor that's on their brain. Any nigga they fucking all of a sudden, it, I guess that automatically means he trustworthy. The shit is crazy to me. But you know, th that's how they do. That's how they get down. We understand. 
My somebody in the is, comments, somebody in the comments asked where the cops was concerning this dude that's on the screen. His trial mm -hmm. is underway. His trial, he, he didn't get away with it. Um, they haven't sentenced him yet. I don't even think the conviction came back yet. I think they're still in the middle of the trial, but he he was arrested. You can rest assured he was arrested. Thank goodness, because most of the time these niggas get away with that shit. I just wanted to add that I agree with I agree with Snapple in that these mammy mothers do need to be going to jail too when their daughters get sa because they know better they do know better you can't say that like dz said first of all you're bringing a black male around red flag number one but then they bring these dudes around they act like they don't see shit unfortunately so many black women have have said have said like mama knew that her boyfriend was really looking at me talking about my chest my butt and all that stuff and they act like they, they don't see the shit so yes these married mothers need to go to jail when it comes out that their daughters were S8 under their roof. Yes, um, but <laughs> in a lot of these cases, the mother is the, that's the only person those kids have. That she's the only parent those kids have. But that's so that's even more reason why for the, you know, for them not to bring mm -hmm. the niggas around, exactly. you know? Exactly, exactly. But, th but then what happens to a lot of black kids? They end up in the foster care system. Yeah, because don't nobody want them. Y'all need to quit exactly. having them. It just is what it is. Don't nobody Black. want them motherfuckers. I'm not gonna take them in as foster. <laughs> Fuck all of that. I, I don't. I don't. I don't like niggering. Period. But, you what's, know? The what's the what's better? Them being removed from their mammy ass, enabling ass mother that's gonna keep handing them off to uh, Tyrone after Tyrone after Tyrone, or being put in a system where they might have a chance. They need to get the, them the fuck away from them bitches. That's my opinion. But the every, every, that's the thing. The mother's not right. The father's not right. I think they, I think black children are just in danger, period. I'm sorry. The minute they come in the world, even the four, they're in danger. Then stop and robbing them. They exactly, exactly. So not exactly. Consider but they're not going to stop that. They're going to keep doing it for some fucking reason. See, here's the deal, though. That's why I emphasized earlier when we was talking about bitches that don't know how to retract. Stop this shoulder rubbing bullshit every time one of these motherfucking women go out here and get with one of these niggas. They have no incentive to stop because of the state. The state is going to take care of them through WIC. Uh, what is that shit called? SNAP and, and all these little benefits, Section 8 or whatever. Then they got the trauma bonding crew where they come back. He did me wrong. He punched me in my titty. You can, can you believe that? And they like, girl, he was wrong for that shit. Oh my goodness. Bitch, you do black men punch bitches in the titty. Stop it. Just stop going over there. They're never going to stop doing that. They're never going to stop. They're never going to stop doing that. And I'm with Snapple. I'm with all of you ladies. I, this is why when I say you bitches need to be sterilized, I really be needing that shit. It is not like I don't even like kids. I don't like badass kids in general. But y'all have not proven that one, y'all can take care of the kids. Two, you're physically responsible, meaning your money ain't in order. Three, you're constantly leaning on other people. Four, when you do have the kids, you resent them because you feel like you held them back and they didn't keep the nigga. Number five, you victimize the kids further by exposing them to niggas you know gonna hurt them. Like that one bitch, where was she? I don't remember where was she from, but she sold her five-year-old and the little girl got unalive. Do y'all remember that? Cute little girl. Some of these bitches should not be allowed to procreate. You should be able to have to take a, I don't know, make them take some sort of intellectual I test. I, know, I think I know the little girl you're talking about. You know, they wouldn't talk about her because see, she a little, she was a real light, cute girl with curly hair. That's what you're talking about. Yeah, and she was still black. That's yeah, the, you know they you know they went there talk about her. As soon as I saw that picture, I said, yeah, they not going to talk about her. Because she was a very, very pretty little girl. And her mother literally know. dropped her off, y'all. That To this day, I swear, if I see that bitch is on site, it wasn't even my daughter. But you bitches be really making me want to fuck y'all up about kids I didn't even give birth to. You don't deserve to be mothers. You have Thank no you. legacy to bestow. All you give them is struggle, heartache. You break them and put them in the world. And then everybody else got to deal with the broken shit that you didn't get right. Fuck y'all hoes. You. And see, Thank that's why you. I had this. I had to back up off of it because it is it's very emotional. And you sit at home and you cry about kids that don't even belong to you. Just reading some of the shit these kids have had to endure. When you think about it, death was the best thing that could have happened to them because some of this shit they've been through that they took them through. It's like, damn, why you do? Like it's just, it's cruel, uh, it's Leah. cruel and inhumane, and it it's is. like. It, People talking about what the fuck going on with the police. They defund and abolish like the dams and a lot of these liberal motherfuckers want it. Y'all wanted them out the way. So a there lot of go. them quit 
and or retire. They at home and I don't goddamn blame them. That's where a lot of the police are. But Aaliyah, remember the all the big fervor about oh black women got hysterectomies and they didn't give Child. their consent. There you go. Thank I'm sorry. We some of that stuff just needs to be plugged up, taken out. I don't know. Just just burnt. They they mm -hmm. don't need to have children. At let all. me let me check the back, y'all. And if y'all hear her, let me know because Stream Yards is like fucking me over. Okay. Um, Liz, are you dusty? I cannot hear her. Okay, Nobody's there. Okay, let me go ahead and remove this then. But y'all know what it is like lately, and I've found myself doing it. I think the last time I cried was with, about that little girl. And I remember her and Cupcake. And I remember just sitting there thinking like, and just crying. I'm like, why the fuck am I crying over kids that don't belong to me? And then it hit me. They could have been my kids if I stayed in Blackistan because these bitches just, it's like nobody sees the issue. And when you speak on the issue, suddenly you're a coon, you're castigated to being somebody who is a, somebody who's out here trying to destroy the community. Who the fuck is gonna waste time destroying y'all? Y'all are already pretty much mass destroyed. This shit has been catastrophic. Nobody's after y'all. Mm. And Club Cake story was just good wrenching. When I read everything they took that baby through, I cried like I had got my ass whooped. I promise you, because I, and I heard that just reading what she what they did to this little child. And it's like, how much can her little body take? How could you do this? Like, mm. it's, they are not human. They're just not human beings. I'm sorry. Cold. You have no conscience. You have nothing. Look, y'all, I'm going to have to give y'all the microphone, come out and go back in because uh, StreamYard is acting a whole fool. And it looked like they uh, let Liz back in, won't let me remove my banner. None of that shit. Uh, be right back. God damn it. The Boy. case that really stuck with me was the Malia Davis case. Like, my goodness. She was another little black girl uh, unalive by her mama in cahoots with the stepdaddy. The stepdaddy just really targeted her out of all the kids, and the mo the mammy mother cared more about keeping that dick than saving her little girl. I, I remember up. that one, Kyra. I that, couldn't keep up with that. I followed that one closely too, and I remember the mammy ass mom. Didn't she do an interview with Crump, Benjamin Crump, or some other ad adjacent motherfucker? Yes, yeah, she did, and that I shit wonder... made me to my stomach. Did she ever get time? Because I know I was following it for a while, and I know the. The, the demon involved, he had confessed, right? Did the mother get charged? I'm telling you, they need to start charging these bitches. This is some bullshit. They are in on it. Fuck that. They know what the fuck is going on. A lot of these bitches don't even like their fucking daughters. They hate them. These bitches are fucking sick. They, don't they like see them daughters. as sexual competition. They see them as an obstacle to getting and keeping the man. My question to all of y'all, what is it for? They don't do anything. How the fuck are you on a global scale? Everybody, no matter where the fuck you come from, geographically, how is all of the men just trash? It doesn't matter what he accomplishes. If he goes to law school, he's just a nigga that went to law school. He's still trash. I don't get it. And like y'all, I... I hate to say it. I had to stop watching stuff like that because that shit was tearing me up inside. Like I, I, I just couldn't do it. I've been carrying more sorrow for people's kids than people actually carry for their own kids. And that shit will never mm -hmm. sit right with my spirit. And I hate that. I like have to say out loud, I had to stop watching it, but for my own mental health, I had to stop watching it because some of the comments you would read from these bitches, oh, well, that's just sad. You know, this is why we got to get our men help. Nothing about the little girls. Oh, Let's my God. You help. are kidding me. I had to pull away Don't. from that stuff, too, mistress. I couldn't I couldn't mentally watch it either. I mean, it would really oh, trigger something in me. I couldn't I can't keep up with some of that stuff either. They had no, there was really. one there was one where there was a newborn baby that the the demon ass assaulted sexually and there was black women in the comments commenting on how cute he they thought he was i remember him what? Mm -hmm. yeah. yes oh, it was I a can't. it was a 10 month old baby that they did that shit to well they not they he did that shit too. That was, was his own child. About babies. Yes. yes, that was his own child. I and when they like I got my ass whooped with her too. Yeah. I, and when they sentenced him guys he cried like a baby. 
I didn't see that, but the thing is, you got to understand that fucking monster penetrated her. That, yeah, that, and you, I, you yeah, I wanted to kill myself. Me. I'm you got to be shitting me. Let me scroll this down because see, I'm gonna tell y'all something. Like I said, brother Pro Light ain't that, that ain't the only one. All right, this them talking about it. Retired Baltimore cop, blah blah blah. His wife did what she did. Now we talked about them touching on your babies. Y'all's husbands, eyes married now, bitches. Y'all's husbands suck dick to the base. Let me tell y'all something about black men, okay? Black men are the most <laughs> effeminate men on the planet. Sorry, not the fuck sorry, okay? I done seen in some of y'all little hot up groups where y'all say some of these men don't have an assigned G-E-N-D-E-R and y'all are doing polyamorous shit and it doesn't matter what's downstairs. I've tried to say that as clean as I can. Um, Nature Boy is one of them. Pull up. Okay. Y'all around here doing doing the most. Well, this one right here, that's 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 Damian Massey. This one that just the newest one from this week, right? This man is a father, ex-husband at this point, grandfather, bishop at the church, and his boyfriend got upset, okay, because he was doing another dude. And uh, he put their sex tape on Snapchat, okay? This has been a hot, funky-ass mess, okay? So, y'all, I'm, I'm tired of the fake outrage. I am. I'm tired of it. If you want views, do your thing, content creators. Do your thing. When somebody gets sentenced, put their name in the title, and you run straight to the goddamn microphone. Y'all keep doing what you do. At the end of the day, you don't give a shit about these motherfucking women because you would tell them, hey, don't chance it. I mean, you don't even have to let it fall out your mouth. Not, a, not you know, all or hashtag all. You ain't got to say that. But don't chance it. It's no different than getting into a subprime mortgage. That is a huge gamble. Why would you send the women that you claim you care about into a den of thieves knowing good and well that their probability of getting ate the fuck up and cut the fuck up is very, very fucking high. Okay? If you cared about them, you tell them, hey, eh. You might not want to do that. These, I mean, you can even throw your whole tip or pro black spin on it if you want to. Black men have been messed up by being coddled in white supremacy. I wouldn't deal with them because they in a way do whatever you got to do. But at the end of the day, can we save some of these black women's lives? Y'all, it's funeral homes out here that said they're overwhelmed with your bodies, with your children's bodies with other black men's bodies. And these are all happening at the hands of black males. Let me say something to you. You can talk about white men doing crimes and murdering black women all you want to. You gonna have to put together a chart and we gonna play a game of probability here. In the month of June alone, put a list of all the black women that were taken up out of here and black children by black men. And then on the right side of that list, put up all the black women and children that were taken out by white men. Okay. If you got a list at all, you're going to sit up here and you're going to have to tell the truth. We're going to play a game of probability here. So if you got somebody that wants a family, wants a husband, wants children, where would you, if you gave a fuck about them, which side of that list you going to send them to, to that blacklist or are you going to send them outside of the community? They know the probability of it being somebody black is going to be highly unlikely because a lot of them have tried to now do a mixture where they um, try to point out crimes that white men have committed as well. And the only thing I have to say to them is keep it going. My thing is they don't have enough information on them to keep the stories coming. Uh, whereas you could sit up and we could be t discussing all the different cases of niggas until Christmas. But my thing is they don't have the they don't have the material to keep it coming because it's not common. It doesn't happen that often. That's why they hop on that shit like bitches in heat when a white man finally does something to a black woman because they know that's not the norm. My thing is, if you got a whole plethora of white men around here on a live and all often black women, where's the proof? 
show it because y'all love saying that the majority of black women don't even date out so that don't even make sense so my thing is why is, are they so pissed off that we don't make white men the topic when we have already established that black women majority of black women don't even date white men that's not our biggest threat and then they want to change the argument and say well it's about proximity and I'm like but does that really fucking matter we're talking about your biggest predators we're talking about the ones who are literally hunting you at this point to the to the tune of we constantly talk about black femicide that window just keeps getting smaller and smaller and smaller and every time you call somebody to the carpet they go to holler about oh well they it's poverty it's crime it's vibe people are hungry they need jobs oh yeah we need a whole bunch of programs and everything oh well it's not just them all these other groups of men do it too you can't just single out black men and it's like Every single time we try to shine a spotlight on something, they always got to come and try to redirect or change the fucking subject. And it's usually the other black women that's doing it. And it's like, God damn, when do y'all bitches ever goddamn gender first? And they wonder why I don't want to fuck with none of y'all at this point. If you're not, your ass not divested, we ain't speaking the same fucking language. Get the fuck out of my face. Look, y'all, this is the type of shit y'all going for, risking life and career, right? Risking life and career, because if you get men from jail, <laughs> from the jailhouse, and you work at the jail, too, and you know what they did, you had access to their record. I mean, you you talk about vet, ma'am, the whole criminal history was at your funky ass fingertips with them goddamn long, stinking, dookie filled ass nails. You could have looked, but you fucking them on the job and everything. Y'all, please take a gander. What you do? What you do? What's the first Please. thing you did out of prison? Called her. Ah! <laughs> As a Were you waiting on him? Yeah, hey! Well, how'd you, how'd you knew her when you got locked up? How did we person. meet? I was a correction she officer. She was a guard. I was working. Oh, with you were the officer? Oh! Okay. He was an inmate. Well, you see the connection there, though. Well, hey. hey, hold on, hold on. Were y'all like already intimate in the building, or y'all waited? We intimate. I'm oh, not hey, hey, no, we weren't. No, no, we, we were never intimate. We were. While she was, no, we weren't. No, we weren't. Ah, she thinks that shit is cute. Mm, I can't. You know, a lot of these bitches are so stupid. They should be thankful that thinking, breathing, heartbeat, I'm rapid. Uh, what is it? REM are all involuntary responses because if they had to concentrate on any of that, they'd be fucking dead. How are you going to get up there and bust yourself out for not only being a stupid bitch, but a desperate stupid bitch who's about to put her entire career in peril because you want to hop on the. Ooh, I got to be careful because you want to ride a motherfucker that's probably fucking with somebody named Optimisha Prime behind bars. Bitch, you got to be stupid. Uh, you know, Daisy, this kind of reminds me of another story, actually. It reminds me of the story I heard about this BWE content creator who claims to have been in the military who got with an ex-felon when he was living with in a white woman's basement. Mm, I think I might have heard that story before. That's I very interesting. interesting. I've heard of that <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, update time. Recall when you were here last time, when we were crunching back on tacos together, right? There was a dude that shot his sister, his pregnant sister, no doubt. Let me ask y'all a question. Do y'all think if y'all see his mother and they finally talk to his mother that she held her son accountable for unaliving her daughter? Absolutely I'm not. I'm trying to see something in the chat. Put a one if you think that she made him take responsibility. Yeah, yeah, Colette DeJour, this is the update, okay? We're going to see how much they love the daughters. Um, We're going to see how much you, you, you give a fuck. Reminds me of these content creators concerning this brick story, to be honest with you, right? Uh, let's go. A married couple and her unborn baby shot to death in the middle of a park on Labor Day. Maple Heights police say the person who pulled the trigger was that woman's younger brother. Well, tonight, Just One Station spoke to the mother of the victim and the shooter, Kelly Kennedy, live tonight with this emotional story. Kelly. Chris, she is literally living every parent's worst nightmare. She's devastated. The mom tells me she was actually at Stafford Park yesterday at a church picnic 
And the reason that her daughter and son-in-law came by was to do her a favor. They were just dropping off her great-grandson's stroller. Well, that's when her son showed up and did the unthinkable. 31-year-old Trey Carter and his wife, 30-year-old Mercedes Iverson, were getting ready to welcome a baby girl into the world in November. Iverson's mother, Cynthia Ivey, tells me they had already picked out a name, Ava. They were very excited. Trey was more excited than Mercedes because Mercedes was the one that was sick. <laughs> She says the Parma couple was only at Stafford Park in Maple Heights on Labor Day to do her a favor, to drop off a stroller. Then out of the blue, you know, my son shows up, and as soon as he sees them, he's just like, he just goes off. Notice she called her daughter Mercedes and called her son my son. I wanted y'all to know that. Okay, she doesn't look devastated to me. It looked like the one that she preferred survived. Let's go. So I don't know what he was doing before um, that got him so enraged, you know, but he just wouldn't let up. Do you have any idea why your son was so upset with your daughter and her husband? Well, that's a long story in itself. Look at there. She was supposed to say he, I don't give a fuck what he was mad about, or since she's on the news, it really doesn't matter what he was upset about. He shouldn't have shot my daughter. That's what she should have said. But she's, she, she going to be all right because her preferred child survived. Let's keep going. You know, but the bottom line is he was holding a grudge. He just wouldn't let it go. It just festered. And I guess that was the end result. Never in a million years could Ivy have imagined that her 29-year-old son, Jason Iverson, would shoot and kill his own pregnant sister and her husband in cold blood. Him and his sister has always been able to call her and she would bail him out of whatever it was. What do you think it was? You think he just snapped? I think so. You know, there were a couple of setbacks that he was dealing with in his life. And I guess he just being a parent it's it's kind of hard when you have grown children that have issues because there's only so much you can do. She says it's hard to accept that her daughter's killer and her son are the same person. If it's very hard for me to come to terms with that, you know, because they're both, they're my, both kids. my kids. They're both my kids. That interview was sick. Y'all, before I violate community guidelines, does anybody have anything on that? Absolutely not. I, I have no words. I, what can I you wish say? I... Mm -hmm. Um, go ahead, Aaliyah. I just, that thing I was just about to say, I don't, I wish I could say I was shocked, but I'm not. So I, I really have no words because, see, I really don't want to be accused of elder abuse by dragging <laughs> this woman. By, so I'm going to stand down on this one. Y'all, y'all can have. I'll, I'll take it. That's a that's an old fat ass, ball headed ass, mini ass. If her son, if her oh son, God. if if her daughter would have did that to her son, she would have been like, "I'm disowning her. I don't have nothing to say to her. I can't believe she did that." But because it's, it was the other way around, I hope her daughter's spirit haunts that bitch for the rest of her life because she don't even have no fucking emotion. It's like you would think she's. If you didn't know the context, you would think that she was just talking about, like, you know, just like regular stuff. Like, not that she lost her daughter, but this is, she's probably one of those mammy ass hoes that didn't like her daughter, that resented her daughter, and that let strange men into the house to fuck their daughters up. This bitch has no emotional connection to her daughter being gone. That's fucked up. And, like, I just, yeah. You know what? Let, my bad. I, did I violate the guideline? I'm going I, 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 I to tell you what the man is sitting at saying. <laughs> You don't know everybody grieves differently. You don't know what that lady is feeling. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh, everybody <laughs> grieves differently, right? When it's the daughter, but when it's the son, they all grieve the same. They all crying yeah. and distraught, distraught the same. But it, when it's the daughter, everybody grieve differently. Okay, then you you wasn't moved. You couldn't tell. She she probably was torn up on the inside. You just not seeing it. Okay, okay, Aaliyah, you turn this freaking tyrant. Stop. Stop. Oh, yeah. Stop. I would snap yeah. on this shit. Like, there's no way in hell. If somebody hurt my daughter, I would be, I wouldn't even be able to sit through a fucking interview. You know, she bailed him out, and that's the motherfucking problem. Stop bailing them out. God you, damn. Caught, you caught that, right? And then, Thanks. on top of that, did y'all catch the fact that the daughter was doing the mom a favor at the time where she got unalive? She yeah. was bringing something to the park for her. That's why I tell y'all to quit fucking muling. If your mother favors your brother over you, step the fuck off. Let him and her do what they do. You're not going to be able to win favor by doing favors, being at her beck and call and that type of stuff. When she starts getting old, decrepit, and needs some help getting her ass to the bathroom, let her son do it. Don't go on it. Because here's the deal, y'all. When you start doing things to make people like you or you think you buying their affection or working your way up to affection with them, they enjoy that shit and they always dangle that shit in front of you like a goddamn carrot in front of an emaciated bunny rabbit to make you keep working and keep working and keep working to see how much you're going to do to try to win favor with them. Here's the thing. You're not going to be able to. You're going to be working until the day that bitch dies. Pull up. I don't think she felt anything. The, 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 oh, sorry. Go ahead, Ebony. I just want to say I wish I could give every black girl a mom. I know it. I'm hurt. I, just, I wish I could give every black girl the mom that would give them understanding, and protection, mm -hmm. and teach them and love them. Girl, yeah. listen, Ebony, I'm, I know how you feel. I get that shit on one-on-ones all the time, and I always agree to be their internet auntie when they got damn mama acting a damn fool. That's Making the mama's acting a fool, DZ. This it is. It is. It is. It is. And that's why these whores need to go ahead and tell the truth. I'm just asking you to tell the truth. I'm not asking you to like me. I just told you you can't win like with somebody. When they don't like you, they just don't fucking like you. But check it the fuck out. There's a lot of black women in real pain. And all you're concerned about is views, them coming to recognize that you gave the story first. Then you come back and revise the story. Ma'am, there's hurting black women out here. Even that dumbass bitch of a Somali bitch, she's fucking hurt. She's damaged. Can't you tell? And it ain't from that brick. She was damaged way before she got hit with a brick. You can't tell? You ain't seen her internet history? That woman is fucking damaged. And okay? I just have... Go ahead. I wanted to say two things. One, to tie, go back to what you said, DZ, about muling. Also keep that in mind when you start to see these elder black women around you, you know, homeless or struggling or whatnot. Don't don't assume that they're just some nice little old lady. Remember, they're a lot of them are this bitch that we just watched. Just remember that. Don't don't let that don't let them being old tug at your heartstrings. And DZ, it's time to end the live now. You haven't gotten enough cash apples. <laughs> in the life right now. Yeah, DZ, you gotta throw. You gotta throw. I'm oh, sorry. I want to pick back up. Kyra said that is true. A lot. I've seen, I'm seeing a lot of middle aged to older black women not have care. You know, not by their kids, their daughters, and their their daughters are saying no. You know, these women are in homes in droves every week. Y'all listen. Ebony is. She's she's a sweetheart, okay. Me, I'm 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 pretty goddamn over it. But Ebony actually gives a fuck at this point. And whenever something like that, Ebony takes women under her wing in real life, okay. She tries to guide in real life. Sometimes me and Ebony talk off of here, and she'll tell me about some of these women, and I'm like, Ebony, let that bitch go, let the bitch go. Because the thing is, black folks are attention whores. Now, if you gave the bitch the goddamn tea and the rundown and, and, and a strategy, and she's still on some, well, I don't know. Uh-uh. Okay. Cause you, you asked me, right? And I'm going to go ahead and let you go on that. But Ebony, she has a legit caring heart. Hell, Ebony became a goddamn physician so that she can she can care for people. It, it's like... I she, get it. It's you know, hard though. I'm talking, you know, see, people want to talk about what happens to the black community. What happened to the black community? The black community happened to the black community. 
Mm-hmm. And these children are born every goddamn day. And you know what? The minute they are out of mama's arms, they are on their own. Mm-hmm. They are on their own. It's like, especially a girl needs her mom. She needs a mother and she needs a father, goddammit, too. Listen, yeah. I've always said every child deserves great parent, but not every parent deserves children. And Amen. I get where you're coming from, Ebony. It is really hard to see some of the shit I've seen. Hell, I've seen it when I served. A lot of the girl, black girls that came through there, they were damaged as fuck. Like, y'all, I know I talk about my aunt a lot behind the wall, but my aunt's like Ebony. She has a heart of gold. That woman literally saved my life when I could have easily ended up as one of these women. I'm not saying that, like, There's no hope there, but I feel like the women who want a way out, we can give them that. But I'm like you, DZ, at some point. I'm not going to sit here. I give you a solution and all you can present me with is a fucking problem. That means you don't want to go. I'm going to have to leave you here until you figure out what the fuck you want to do. And when you figure it out, if you catch me up the way somewhere yonder, then yes, I'll help you then. Maybe we can meet again then. But a lot of them don't want to go. They want you to give them a viable solution that involves being involved with this fucked up community, Mm -hmm. these fucked up men, this fucked up lifestyle. They want you to justify why they don't have to grow up and remain arrested in development. I'm not doing that anymore. I've already said that I have cried more over people's kids that I didn't even fucking birth. These people had me ready to, ooh, I gotta be careful. These motherfucking guidelines. Listen, y'all, you, y'all ain't seen nothing until you have been assigned to a med surge floor. Follow me, okay? Because I did travel nursing. You go to the med surge floor, they got enough nurses. So administration say, hey, you're going to go to labor and delivery. I hated labor and deliver, de- delivery, and I hated mother baby. Pull up. I, because it's, that's, I can't stand it. Can't but stand that. since I was under contract, I had to go. You ain't never seen despair. Until you see a 12-year-old in labor, you on one side holding one leg, and her cousin is on the other side holding the other leg, and her mother sitting there looking at her cell phone, pull up. And then on the area where it says father, it says under investigation. Y'all, the black community is in a hot, funky fucking mess. And you got motherfuckers, cash apple, and clapping their titties all over. They get on my nerves. Dead ass serious. That's why I got out of, I couldn't do pee. I, mm, I, I was in the emergency room. No, uh-uh, I don't do peds either. I, I can't do I, 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 I did. I did peds for two shifts, and I never did it again. No, I can't do peds. <laughs> yep. I can't. Uh, uh-uh. no, no. Imagine you see, you're saying right. sixteen year olds coming in, and they, you already know somebody been missing with them, or they missing with somebody else's little dust ass little boy. Who giving them shit already? And the only you talk to her and you try to give her some self esteem to figure out why you were giving up your body so early when you're not even ready for this and they can't even answer the question. And I and I'm sitting up here trying to preach to these little girls. Look, protect yourself. It doesn't matter what he says. It's about you. And if you say no, then it's no. Why are you doing something that you yourself are not even ready for? I'm a mentor too. And I, so I know exactly how it is. Some of them are open to it and some of them are not. And I just had to learn how to learn, let a lot of shit go. Mm-hmm. When I realized that a person does not want my help and what I'm saying is going in one ear and out of the other, it's like, okay, well, I'm just going to have to let that go because you clearly don't want my help. So until you're ready to receive what I got to say, then there's really nothing else. We we have reached an impasse and it's time for us to go our separate ways because you don't want to listen to me. You know it all. So I guess you got to go through a little bit more in life for you to see what I'm saying. Because that's what it is. A lot of them, especially when they were so young, you haven't lived life enough to know. But when you're that age, you think you know it all. So yeah. I understand. I let them go. I let them the fuck DC. go. Yes, I do ma'am. have a story though. Same night. Labor and delivery. Little black girl giving birth in one over here, one one side. Then his little white girl, same thing, but her, her little white boyfriend comes through his 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 you know baseball cap and a a, a a rock and roll t-shirt marrying her. That part. See the stark difference? The black girl was by herself with her mama. The <laughs> white girl was over there getting married with mama, grandpa. Cousin oh, Kelly. That, look, that look, that's Peepaw right there. Peepaw, Peepaw be funny as hell. Peepaw be funny as fuck. <laughs> yeah, but they were all there 
Mm -hmm. They were getting married in the I had to go get the preacher, okay? They were getting married right there. All mm -hmm. right? So That's that that tells you a lot about the two different communities. Peepaw will fuck true. him up if he ain't do right by granddaughter. You better oh, believe. Telling you. Peepaw was going to give him that motherfucking work. So if he knew what was good for him, he was going to put a ring on it. <laughs> but uh, part of the issue, though, in terms of mentorship is I do understand where the younger black girls come from. Because let's be real. Most of the older black women in their lives are on some fuck shit. I mean, you got... Folks that are yeah. old enough to be someone's mother, grandmother, even here on like just take the BWE platform. All mm -hmm. these hoes are old enough to be these girls' mothers, and they're telling them some fuck shit. They're doing fuck shit. So I can understand why a younger black woman is hesitant and leery to listen to a, another black woman because most of them are on some most of the older black women are on some bullshit. Just think about the black women in your own lives, the older ones that were supposed to guide you. They were on some fuck shit. Yeah, and here's the thing. When you find out and you find better and you stick around for that dumb bitch that's telling you not all, whatever happens to you, happens to you. Sorry, love you to death. But if you find out different and you stick around because you still got your fingers crossed for that black dude, hey, I don't know what to tell you. I'm I'm not, I, I, I'm removing myself from this bullshit, y'all. I can't do it. At some point, you have to remove yourself because your heart is going to constantly stay mm -hmm. broken. And that's why I have to rem you I, to protect my heart. I have to remove myself from it because again, when you're sitting up here and you're talking to these people, and you know in their home lives lives are fucked up. You know that you know grandma is a hot ass miss. Mm -hmm. You know mama is a hot ass miss. And then you sit up and you talk, to, and and it's like they can't answer anything. I don't know why I'm doing what I'm doing. They don't even know. And it's like I said. So basically, you're doing what you're doing because you. You're, you're afraid that if you don't do it, then he's going to go get it from somebody else. And mm -hmm. I'm, like, I'm wondering where is this, you know, well, I know where the mindset comes from. It starts at that age. And so this is that, that little girl is what grows into that thirsty ass woman that is dying to hold on to a nigga and would do absolutely anything to keep him. And that cycle just keeps repeating over and over and over again. And now social media doesn't make that any better. It doesn't make our jobs, the professionals, any easier when you got hypersexuality all over the place. And you're trying to tell them, look, this ain't the thing to do. But then you got people telling you, well, they easy like, oh, mom, they should be able to do whatever the fuck they want to do. That's what parents are coming in. Well, a lot of these kids don't have parents. Y'all too busy shaking y'all ass so they just <laughs> lost hey, like, it's, it's, here's the thing y'all let the chips fall where they may if you got somebody in your life that you give a fuck about and it's, it's a woman young girl or whatever spill the tea then move on because if you beg her to do it she gonna start getting off on you begging then it's gonna graduate to you jealous then it's gonna graduate to you bitter then it's gonna graduate to you don't know what the fuck you talking about and then you're gonna start hating a little bitch so just spill the tea and let her figure out her life after that OK, hopefully she takes your tea. If not, it ain't your fault because you gave her the damn tea. OK, can I Let chime in, too? Yes. Um, I wanted to uh, circle back to what you actually just said, DZ, and something that Aaliyah said that I was I was thinking like, you know, these it, it's I understand where Ebony's coming from, because it's like such an emotional roller coaster because we feel so sorry for the little black girls that are like stuck in these situations. But then we have the foresight to know that a lot of the time they grow up to be, you know, mammies, you know, who are wreaking havoc and enabling Taekwondarius in them. Mm -hmm. So I yeah. wanted to, I wanted to piggyback off what you just said, DZ, like if you have access to young black girls who, who you feel you, you know, you want to help or you can help just remember, you know, to enforce boundaries and to protect yourself and to put yourself first. Because a lot of the time these girls are, um, operating in, in survival mode and they have grown up in survival mode and you will become a casualty of their pursuit. So you really have to put yourself first. It's, it's really sucks and it's unfortunate. And I really hate the fact that the Kangs and the Ashy community have created this, but they have created this where they're creating these psychopaths who are children. They start off as innocent children 
and they're in these situations where they just have to survive. They have to just figure it out and survive. So if you come across these young black girls, just be very fucking mindful. Yeah. The boundaries yes. in place. And you have to. Give them the resources. Yeah. Show them the resources. You don't need to be the resource to help somebody. You can just show them and, and give them the resources that you have available to you in your area or whatever. Or even hell, it could be showing them somebody's YouTube channel. But you don't need to become the resource because what we're not finna do is start mammying for mammies. No. Exactly. Exactly. Nope, not gonna okay. happen. You can get that shit out people. of your fucking head. I'm not doing it because I these young these, these young bitches will set your ass up for a nigga. They will. They, they will, will tell her, Auntie DZ, I wanted to ask you a question. And can you meet me at the quick trip? And you get your ass okay. down there, do you be face down ass up and uh, with a heater to the to your temple? I'm not going because I know what these niggas do to these bitches and they make them real dizzy anyway what's your question before i show you this stupid bitch here yes ma'am here's my thing even when i was a teenager my 20s and 30s had a rocking body i never thought sex was that important but it, it wasn't it wasn't like the prime thing in my life i i had other things i wanted to do see yeah, you know what but I mean? you gotta remember, Ebony, they dick dizzy. Everything revolves around dick, 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 and more motherfucking dick. It, it, that's all it is. That's the prize in the black community. In other communities, education, degrees, jobs, property, that type of shit, a, a savings account, that's the prize. In the black community, it is dick. That's it. But Ebony, yeah. you also have to remember that in the black community, to add to what DZ is saying, the only time a lot of these black girls get any type of positive recognition is through sex. I mean, you know how it is in the black community. If you are a scholar, if you read, then you know you're oh, yeah. bougie and all that mm -hmm. shit. Yeah. So yeah. they only get positive affirmation, positive attention when they're twerking, sucking dick, fucking. That's yeah. it. That's but sad, but that's why I have no friends. Okay. Let me show y'all this real quick. Let, let me show let me show y'all this real quick. This is in Fulton County, y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all something. Just because y'all see somebody that looks well put together and she's a black woman, that motherfucking whore can be a mammy as well. Okay. We talking about somebody. I told y'all don't shit where you eat. She's being voted out as we speak. I'm talking about this very minute from her uh very important position. She's a Fulton County count uh commissioner. So let's just see what the fuck she did. This is dumb, y'all. You don't have to do this. Divest. For the first time in nearly a decade, a Fulton County commissioner has been sanctioned by other board members. Commissioners voting five to one to censure fellow commissioner Natalie Hall for having what they call an appropriate relationship, an inappropriate relationship with her now former chief of staff. Dick, 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 and more dick. How the fuck do you fuck your chief of staff? He's not supposed to see what your coochie look like. He not supposed to see nothing. He not supposed to know nothing about your personal business. It's supposed to be business. But no, they are dick center. So let's throw everything you work for right down the damn drain, you stupid ass bitch. 11 Alive's Bobeth Yates is following the story and has the details. Well, the meeting was all fireworks as commissioners went back and forth to prevent the vote to censor Commissioner Natalie Lee Hall. But despite the disturbance, the vote moved forward. No further commercial, sir. Sir, this I have to. I have to. I have to, I have to, I have to From a heated exchange to colorful public comment in the version of song. This is Hall. This is Hall. This is Hall. Wednesday's Fulton County Commission meeting was much to do about the sexual harassment claims waived against Commissioner Natalie Hall. Those claims are currently being litigated in federal court. There was information that became public during the trial that showed that the choices that Commissioner Hall made in reference to her chief of staff were not prudent. During one of Hall's recent court proceedings, she acknowledged a sexual relationship with a former staffer who filed a lawsuit saying when he ended the relationship, he was terminated and is now seeking monetary damages. And during Wednesday's commission meeting, the issue also had residents calling for Hall's resignation. We do not trust her. We don't believe the things that she says um, because she smirks like there's no apology. She should step down. The commission voted five to one to condemn the actions with Hall abstaining from the vote. This is a sad day, but it's also a day that had to be done because as elected officials, we must speak 
to when something is egregious. Well, Commissioner Hall did not address the sanction against her at all. In fact, of course she didn't. Of course she didn't. Ladies, this is what's going on. Oh, other point I want to bring up concerning this. Y'all be so hesitant to file lawsuits and file charges against these niggas. As soon as they get upset with you, they down at the courthouse talking to that same white man that they don't want y'all talking to. He got fired and he trotted his little, his black ass down there to that goddamn courthouse to see that she gets sanctioned. They don't have those same reservations. Hell, y'all won't even put these niggas on child support <laughs> because you don't want to put them in the system, bitch. They don't mind you being in the system. She's done. I'm just telling you right now, she's done. She won't be reelected anywhere else. Coincidentally, that's the same county that uh, President Trump got locked up in full of. <laughs> I can't. Y'all, please knock it the fuck off. I'm begging you. Do you notice that all those memes were talking about, oh, you know, what she did was egregious and we have to act on it. I kind of feel like they're only acting because, you know, a nigga was involved, if I'm not going to be honest. And why was old girl smacking her own ass? Oh, because it it was having to do with a sexual relationship. So she was clowning her. Oh, you, you know, that's on me and Mrs. Jones. We got yes. a thing going on. That's oh, what she was. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's what she was singing because the stupid bitch didn't know how to keep her cutie in her pants. So the white bitch was clowning her. I cannot. <laughs> I can't. Hmm. Ladies, y'all got anything? Because I want to. Oh, go ahead, Aaliyah. Because I'm gonna show y'all no, something else. I was just about to say, going back to what we were talking about earlier, I find it very odd that they understand the concept of cultural influence when it comes to young black boys, but they don't understand the concept of cultural influence when it when it comes to time to hold them accountable for what's being put out there that influences little black girls. See, that's the conversation they don't want to have because this mm -hmm. kind of, this community is so male center so soon as you say well y'all women need to knock it off with some of the shit y'all doing too because look at the images y'all putting out there look at how it's embarrassing to the little black girls look what messages are y'all sending them about your body and self love and self esteem and protection and being more than just shaking your ass and twerking because like i said i remember when we was growing up when little girls wanted to be stuff we wanted to be doctors and lawyers that goes back to what the, uh ebony was talking about earlier like when you used to ask them ask, ask us what we wanted to be at that age oh i want to be a nurse i want to be a doctor i want to be a lawyer i want to be a police woman we had goals we had shit we wanted to do shit we wanted to be you ask them what they want to be now and they want to be strippers they want to be like these rappers they want to be so Social media influencer is the most just low level shit they can think of is what they are so bold because they growing up around all this ratchet 24-7. That's all that's the pollution that's being poured into their ears. It's all they seeing all over the internet. Every time you turn on a device, somebody's shaking their ass somewhere and they don't even look at the cultural influence. What are y'all teaching the little girls? Y'all want to talk about the, the cultural influence on both what about the cultural influence on the girls? They, but they don't give a damn about that though, because they said, "Well, shit, y'all motherfuckers need to be parents." Okay, well, look, they ain't got. I agree, but they don't have parents. So my thing is, if you got fifty or sixty million people following you, I don't see how you feel like you don't have a responsibility to. to I mean, I said, I guess I don't know, but I will like to say this too, because I understand we're about to get off here. Because it's to my understanding that we have a big um, black social media blog outlet, news outlet, whatever you want to call it, that has us in their mouth again at this point. We've already dragged them before, but apparently they're still talking about us. And I guess that means that we have arrived, y'all. We have finally made it. So we're fucking famous now. So let me tell you something. Shame yeah. on. You're going to have to get in line right behind the rest of the bitches who got a hard on for us. And I tell you what, you be sure to file your grievances with tech support over at YouTube and then you can kiss the entirety that is our asses because we haven't changed any commentary in all this time. And don't call me a hoe. I prefer to be called a bitch because I heard they said that we 
with some secret agents and all kind of shit. Get it right. Don't call me. They said the nerve of these hoes. No, but don't call me no hoe. I prefer to be called a bitch. Get it right. And yes, I know I am unbelievable and I'm sure y'all daddies and brothers would agree and that's why y'all can stay mad, scratch your ass, clap your hands, thump your feet, play musical chairs, and then you can sit right the fuck behind the bushes and watch us just like the rest. Because I know y'all are here just like the rest of the bitches claiming not to like us, but y'all are here faithfully every Tuesday and Friday looking for something else to cry about. So I guess we're going to end another year with y'all still mad, and we're going <laughs> to close out this year not giving a fuck, and then we'll reset to January 2024 still not giving a fuck, so y'all can keep doing what y'all do, which is crying over everything we say. Hello oh, from CNA CIA. Bedwinch here. <laughs> Be Bedwinch in the house here. Do, 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 the Bedwinch is here. Ladies, like Ebony said, right? It's the difference between black uh, relations, white relations, right? So y'all are taking the uh, stance of getting on your knees and proposing, right? Being the provider, protector, problem solver, instead of getting a man that will actually do that outside of the community, right? I just wanted to compare the two real quick. On people's birthday, women to be exact, sometimes the man likes to, you know, surprise the woman with something that she's always wanted. An engagement ring, a trip somewhere of her luxury or a vacation that she wanted, you know, that type of stuff for, for her birthday. But in your community, it goes a little something like this. Hit it. Oh, he kept it up. Yeah, that nigga drunk. Yeah, drunk. I love you. I love you. What's everybody looking like? I want you to know. I brought everybody here. It's our 40th anniversary, so I brought everybody here. You good? You stuck? I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to chip you home. I love you. You know I love you. I done cut up in front of all these people. I done embarrassed you and me. Babe, since you came into my life, you've been but, the best man to me. You did me wrong. I did you wrong. Babe. What did you mean? Get the fuck, man. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of me, dog. You serious? I'm so serious. It's right here. Okay. You be my okay, okay, then. Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes you'll be my husband. Yes, dude. Y'all set me up. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all set me up. Y'all boy set me up. Oh, hey. that is so sweet. Oh, 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 yeah. First of all, he ain't want that inflamed ass gut beast. Look. She said, you did me wrong, I did you wrong, and we've been together for four years. He's sitting up there with his drunk, ugly ass, looking at her like, honey, he already got on three rings that you bought him. There was nowhere to put it. You notice she also said she paid for all of their meals, and she brought all of them there for this special oh occasion. God. Ladies, that's what you're looking for. In the black community, that's winning. That's winning. A little birdie told me, called the black community. Those bitches ain't going. You hear how ghetto DZ is? There's no way she's married to a white man and all this shit here. Right? Hold on a second. I'm getting an echo. Let me throw you on me, Miss Melanie. All right. So check it out. I want to show y'all something. And it was sent to me today, actually, right before the show. Ladies, all you got to do is have a little decorum. Be something. Do something with yourself. You can date out. OK, everybody's not looking for a bitch fresh off a of femininity course and acting a goddamn fake ass fucking fool when you know good and well, when you stub your toe on the edge of that bedpost, that you're going to be cussing just like me. And then he's going to be like, oh, who is this person? Because you was faking the whole time. You can date out and be yourself. You really can. Long as you have some decorum, long as you 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 keep it, you, you keep it. Uh, you know, balanced a little bit. You can't go around twerking and all that shit, all that wild shit. No, you can't do that. But regular black women, such as myself, because I'm a regular black woman, you can date out and you can date very successful non-black men. 
I want y'all to hear this shit that this dude, this white dude had to say. He's married to a, a, a white, I'm sorry, a black woman. And uh, I thought this was adorable. So let's do this, y'all. Things I've learned being married to a black woman, number one, I talk too damn much. This woman can go the entire day without saying a single word. But if I have to be quiet for more than 10 seconds, I will literally explode. But she is right. I talk too damn much. Number two, the word girl. This can mean a million different things, just depending on the tone of your voice. Spilling tea. Girl. Being disgusted. Girl. Getting our daughter's attention. Girl. It's incredibly versatile. And number three, camping is not actually fun. This is something I kind of just grew up doing, but it's insane. You're taking a dump next to a tree. Everything is uncomfortable. And also, that's where bears live. My fellow napkin Americans, what are we doing? I love that. I just, it just made a <laughs> smile to my face. Yeah, <laughs> that part. my brand because the <laughs> shit he would do when we're out in public. Oh, let's go here, y'all. There's a park over here where you have to go and just be quiet. I love that part where he's like, he wants to talk when we get there. No, be quiet, L. Do you know that his wife says, "Girl." These bitches will tell you because you say, girl, that you a hood red and you can't date no white men. Let me tell you what else they're saying while they're saying that. The fact that they know white men are better and that you better get your shit together to get a decent one. That's what they're saying. Because guess what? They know certain shit like twerking in public and acting a damn fool and cussing out cashiers and shit like that ain't tolerated. But you can definitely be yourself. You don't have to act like Becky. You don't have to act like anything. Just be kind. This be I'm, why, I'm sorry. I'm telling why I don't give a fuck what they saying about us at any point because most white men love the fuck out of me especially that part. when they hear about my yeah. when they hear my mentality when you open your mouth baby and the southern accent oh they love that so that's yeah. why I say it don't matter to me anything they say cause these also the same bitches that be hold up they be crying to get together <laughs> DC, the the divestors. She she's such a rotted meanie. <laughs> Aaliyah is such a bully. <laughs> Kyra made fun of us. Uh, that's all they do is that cry. Mistress Rogue, like that's so Snapple apples. That mean, they're just so mean. They're so mean all the time. These that they're just some horrible bitches. They that's what I'm saying. They always crying all the time. They cry over everything we do. And I want to know what white man it likes a drama queen all the time. Like thank you. you wow. I, they don't understand that. Like that fa that fake femininity bullshit. Most white men don't like women that are overly needy. I don't know what type of white men they're used to dating. But if he's some sort of alpha, that drama queen shit gets very fucking old very fast when you need to be saved all the goddamn time. And it's like mo that's why most white men do have a better connection with black women because they put up with a lot of that shit through Becky. So why the fuck would they want to get with a black woman that's going to bring them the same type of shit that they could have got if they would have stayed with Becky? Huh, they, 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 don't, they don't know the tea. Y'all better no. get your ass in Discord. They don't know the tea. I'm going to tell <laughs> you what's real, okay? The real thing is you can be a black girl and it's okay to be a black girl. Just don't be a ratchet fucking hood rat and you'll be just fine. Black, yeah. white, men, white men love black girls. The and don't be mean? fucking stupid. Don't be playing like you just so dumb. I love like when me and my man are hanging out together because we have intellectual conversation. I have to stimulate him mentally and I'm stimulated mentally. That's why we travel so much. I just Girl, want to look at the history. Look, oh, you Scroll, mean? this morning me and my husband was talking about the fact that India hit the south side of the moon and they was the first people to do that. That's the type of conversation we have. We don't talk about you niggas. Pull that up. part. That I, part. You, I play, we play chess together, me and my brat. So you mean to tell me y'all <laughs> ain't got to be damsels in distress all the time? Y'all yeah. ain't Breaking no. out into tears every oh, five minutes, no. crying no. all way through everything. I hate to say it, but he and I, we talk about politics. We talk about geopolitics a lot. Yeah, mm -hmm. we do that too. He loves geopolitical um, talks, and I do too, because I like I, I see how it affects Black women on a macro scale. So absolutely, I want to engage in those conversations. We talk about historical context and how we ended up here today. Hello, those hello, are real hello. conversations. Mrs. Rose, now, get, wait your, a get your ass in Discord. We fixing to go light it. Y'all supposed up. to be crying and eating with <laughs> sore and fork forks and shit. You got to have <laughs> etiquette and all kind of shit. What the, what kind of sorcery is this? Y'all talking. Let's well, we be kind. Let's be kind to the uh 
the pro-blacks in the clouds, the ones that turned out and showed their pro-black bone after they found out later that Brick Lady was a piece of shit. Let's go ahead and leave here. Y'all have a good weekend. See y'all ladies in Discord, and I'll see you, Aaliyah, in the message box all weekend. You know me, and you do the damn thing. I love y'all. I am <laughs> out of here. Bye. Bye. Good night, y'all. Good night. This for y'all pro-black bitches. Bye, bitches. <laughs>